It's amazing how quickly the space gets messy, hey? I'm, yep, uh, Jackie, uh, hey, TVO Kids Crew, we are recycling. Uh, which our good uh, buddy Mark is doing the same thing, isn't he? That's right, because Earth Day is coming up this Saturday, so we're getting a jump start. Let's check out what Mark has been learning about recycling. Who eats these? Check out all these recyclables. I've even brought mine from home, and I'm hanging out at the integrated waste management site here in the Peel region. This is my friend Ben. Ben, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Mark. How are you? I am fantastic. As you can see, I'm dressed for success. You look smart today. Really sharp. I like it. Awesome. Now, I've noticed that the things behind me aren't, uh, they're not sorted yet. What's going on? Not yet. This is the, just the start of the process. Uh, the material gets dropped off here from the recycling vehicles. It gets loaded onto a series of conveyor belts by a front-end loader, and it moves its way up through the system to get sorted. That's totally amazing. Now, where should I put my recyclables? You can just drop them right here on the conveyor line and let the plant do its work. Well, let's check it out. Recycling has begun. Stick around. Well, we're getting more from Mark. We're just going to clean up the rest of the space. Yep, absolutely. You know what, TVO Kids Crew? I've been good. I've put everything in the recycle bin what? that I thought needed to be recycled. We can't everything. throw this out. Huh? We can't throw this out. What, what's that? Well, it's Yoko Takamoko Toto. Oh, did I put that in there? In the recycling bin. Oops, my bad. And, uh, don't have an art attack. We are going to watch more of Mark at the Giant Recycling Place in just a minute. How cool is that? It is pretty cool. Do you recycle, Milton? Well, of course. And, and what, what kind of stuff do you get to recycle? Well, everything. But you know what's funny? That it's, it's different from region to region, hey? Like some people in like uh, Toronto uh, recycle differently than people in the hill, the Richmond Hill. Yeah, I can mix up all my recyclables, but the, the compost thing is separate. Yeah, see, we don't have, we're going to help, but there's a different process there. But maybe Mark can tell us a little bit about what's going on where he is at. Oh, Mark, speak to us. Then you again, Mark, again. Hey, Ben, is it always this loud in recycling? What? Is it always this loud in recycling? Oh, oh yeah, this is pretty much an average day for us here at the plant. Wow, TVO Kids Crew, as you can hear, it's just, it's just a monster of noise. So what's this thing behind me? Uh, this thing's our neat thing called a V screen. You can see because it's shaped like a V. And uh, in simple terms, it separates the round objects from the flat objects coming through the facility. Oh my goodness, look at all those recyclables just being thrown up into the air and tossing and turning. Are my recyclables in there? Uh, I think they've already been through that machine and they're on their way to the other sorting line. It's pretty fast, TVO Kids Crew. Stick around, more recycling coming your way. Okay, Mark's a good man. We're going to do a little bit of uh, V-screening ourselves, right, Jackie? I'm going to sort these things into paper and plastic as fast as the V-screen machine. Right, you ready? Uh, this, well, this has got kind of both, but there I guess go. it's... That's part of the well, V-screen. No, you should get that. No, Don't forget about that. Oh, here. that tasted really good. Uh, I finally figured out no. who eats that. There's some of that there. Don't forget that. Ew. Yeah. And look at this. I thought How'd you do? Uh, this is why we built machines. Here's Art Attack. The Earth. It's so pretty from way up here. And this Saturday we will be celebrating said Earth. Oh yes, Earth Day. Yes, mm. to learn more about how you can protect this. No. Don't touch. No, I wouldn't dare. Here's Mark. <laughs> Check it out, TVO Kids Girl. I'm actually hands on in the plastic sorting line. It's my job to grab the water bottles and throw them into this bin. It's actually harder than it looks and it's really, oh, I missed one, really fast paced. Now Ben, I wanna know, what do these water bottles get turned into? Well Mark, you're looking at it. Those water bottles get turned into fleece jackets, t-shirts, and carpeting mainly. Wow, recycling's really cool. Yeah, now get back to work. Oh, okay, back to the line, TVO Kids Crew. Come on back, we're doing more recycling here in the space. Look, Jackie. I have the whole world in my hand. I have the whole world in my hand. And it's wide. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Milton. Yes, Jackie. What are you standing on? My goodness. And we're back, and Mark is back. He's in a different plan now, checking out more to do with 
Recycling. Good thing uh, the gravity's coming from here, hey? I'm waving at the people in Russia. Close us back. Oh. It sounds like I'm at a rock concert, but I'm actually hanging out at Seeper today, finding out about the next step in recycling. The best part is I'm hanging out with my friends from Rolling Meadows Public School. This is Cody, and this is Jessica. Now, I want to know, what do they recycle here? Polystyrene. Polystyrene. Actually, I don't, I don't even know what polystyrene is. Jessica, can you give me some examples? Yeah, sure. One example is an egg carton. Another one is bakery trays and some foam cups. There you go, so stuff that we keep our food in. Pretty neat. I'm ready to continue the tour. Are you guys ready? Yeah, but Mark, you have to sort that. I gotta sort all that garbage? Uh, you know what, I better get started. TVO Kids Crew, stick around. More recycling here in the space. That's Mark doing his thing in honor of Earth Day. Recycling and all kinds of great stuff. It's true, but you know, Milton, What's I've been that? thinking, and something strange is going on. Why, why? Because there's no sound in space. Hey, my friends, that was an awesome episode of Arthur! Now, tomorrow is Earth Day, and I bet you guys probably did something cool at school today to celebrate Earth Day. Get ready to phone in and tell me. Not yet, I'll tell you when. But first, check this out. Mark went to a recycling plant called Cipra. Check it out. Let's see what he did there. I'm curious, are you? Check it out. We're behind the scenes at Cipra, and I'm hanging out with my friends from Rolling Meadows Public School. This is Chris, and this is Alyssa. Now, we found out that the, the polystyrene gets sorted, but what's next, Chris? It gets grinded and then it gets washed. Pretty sweet. You know, I know someone who could use a bath. Ugh. My friend Harold. Hey, uh, Alyssa, do you think it's okay if Harold has a bath? Well, first it gets washed, Mark, and then he gets melted. Oh, it gets melted? Uh, I don't really want Harold to get melted. Okay, so Chris, after it's melted, then what happens? It goes over to that machine over there. Oh, okay, and Alyssa, what happens at that machine? Then everything gets turned to pellets. Pellets, kind of like what we've got in front of us here. Check this out, TVO Kids Crew. We're gonna find out what these pellets are actually turned into, so stick around. <laughs> this is so fun to play with. Hey, that was awesome. Now, I know you guys all know this, but there are three R's, reuse, reduce, and recycle. And the most important one is to reduce, because the less garbage you have, then the less there has to be recycled, because recycling does take energy. It's better than throwing things away, for sure. But best of all, create less garbage. And you know what's even better than creating less garbage? Well, they're about equal. Bot Squad, enjoy drinks. <laughs> Okay, my friends, that was George Shrink. So coming up next is Wazoo and Brilliant Creatures. But before we get to any of that, tomorrow's Earth Day. Today was the 20-minute cleanup in lots of different parts of Ontario. I want you guys to call in. Call in now and tell me what you did for the cleanup or what you're going to do for Earth Day. And Mark, in honor of Earth Day, is at a recycling plant. Check it out. The polystyrene pellets are still warm, and I've made my way to the lab. I'm hanging out with my friends Melissa and Taylor. So I want to know, what can these pellets be turned into? Well, these black pellets can be turned into scissors, coat hangers, rulers, or car scrapers. Wait a second, this is stuff that I use every day. That's pretty sweet, so recycling really does make a difference. Now, Melissa, I wanna know, do you recycle at home? I sure do. And Taylor, uh, what's your favorite thing to recycle? Probably pop cans. Pop cans, hey wait, that's, that's my favorite thing to recycle too. Pretty sweet. I've had so much fun learning about the recycling process. I think I'm gonna go home right now and do some recycling of my own. You guys watch these great shows. I think my favorite thing to recycle is the little plastic tubs that like yogurt and stuff come in. I like to use those instead of Tupperware because that way sometimes that kind of plastic's not recyclable so then you can keep it and use it again and again and again and again and therefore you're also reducing your waste and reusing your stuff. Awesome! Don't forget to call in and tell me what you are doing for Earth Day and watch Wazoo! All right, so Mark is out in Brampton tackling the process of recycling. Now, recycling is different in every province, every town that you go to. We're going to find out how they do things in the Brampton. Check it out. Check out all these recyclables. I've even brought mine from home, and I'm hanging out at the integrated waste management site here in the Peel region. This is my friend Ben. Ben, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Mark. How are you? I am fantastic. As you can see, I'm dressed for success. You look smart today, really sharp. I like it. Awesome. Now, I've noticed that the things behind me aren't, uh, they're not sorted yet. What's going on? 
not yet. This is the, just the start of the process. Uh, the material gets dropped off here from the recycling vehicles. It gets loaded onto a series of conveyor belts by a front end loader, and it moves its way up through the system to get sorted. That's totally amazing. Now, where should I put my recyclables? You can just drop them right here on the conveyor line and let the plant do its work. Well, let's check it out. Recycling has begun. Stick around. Aw, how very cute. We're having a contest right now where you can name this sweet little person, uh, orangutan, so it's not a person, but it is an animal. And you can go to www.tvokids.com where all the details are there. We're looking for names that have some sort of meaning, something that means a lot. So go to the website to find out more details. Now check it out. There is this sign right here. You guys have probably seen it quite a bit. It's all about reduce, reuse, and recycle. That is the sign to say that this is recyclable. And Mark is hanging out in somewhere very, very special. We're going to find out from him how he gets to recycle and stuff. Yeah. Hey, Ben, is it always this loud in recycling? What? Is it always this loud in recycling? Oh, yeah, this is pretty much an average day for us here at the plant. Wow, TVO Kids Crew, as you can hear, it's just, it's just a monster of noise. So what's this thing behind me? Uh, this thing's our neat thing called a V screen. You can see because it's shaped like a V. And uh, in simple terms, it separates the round objects from the flat objects coming through the facility. Oh my goodness, look at all those recyclables just being thrown up into the air and tossing and turning. Are my recyclables in there? Uh, I think they've already been through that machine and they're on their way to the other sorting line. It's pretty fast, TVO Kids Crew. Stick around, more recycling coming your way. Check it out, TVO Kids Crew. I'm actually hands-on on the plastic sorting line. It's my job to grab the water bottles and throw them into this bin. It's actually harder than it looks, and it's really, oh, I missed one, really fast-paced. Now, Ben, I want to know, what do these water bottles get turned into? Well, Mark, you're looking at it. Those water bottles get turned into fleece jackets, T-shirts, and carpeting, mainly. Wow, recycling's really cool. Yeah, now get back to work. Okay, back to the line, TVO Kids Crew. Come on back, we're doing more recycling here in the space. Whoa, that's a pretty fast line. We are checking out recycling and all things to do with recycling because it's Earth Day. So it's really awesome. Stick around. There's going to be more fun coming your way. Watch this. Tuttenstein is on the way. Now, it's Earth Day today, and that means that you could get up and get active around your neighborhood, around your house, in your house, to clean up some of those things that you know you can recycle, or you can reuse them in some other way, make crafts out of them or something, and reduce the amount of clutter that is around. So Earth Day is all about the environment and keeping things nice and tidy. Here we go with Mark. Let's check out what he's doing with recycling. My recycling bin's empty because I've been hanging out at the Integrated Waste Management Facility in Peel Region. I'm done with this bad boy. <laughs> and I'm hanging out with Ben. Now I want to know, what's the final process, Ben? Well, if you take a look behind you, Mark, you can see some of our aluminum that's been bailed up and ready for marketing. Whoa, check this out. A whole bunch of cans just like stuck together like a big Rice Krispie square. <laughs> Neat. So uh, how many cans are actually in these bales? We got about 100,000 cans in each one of these bales. 100,000 pop cans. That's more pop than I'll ever drink in my whole entire life. What's going to happen to these bales afterwards? We're going to send them off to an aluminum market. They're going to be melted down and turned back into pop cans. So they're actually worth money. Oh, worth lots of money. Each one of these bales here is worth $1,000. So you're looking at a $1,000 bill for each one of them. You know what? I wish I could actually put one of these in my pocket, but uh, how much do they weigh? Uh, they weigh probably about half a ton, maybe the, about the size of a small uh, compact car. Yeah, that's definitely not going to happen. Ben, thank you very much for having us here today. Oh, it's been my great fun. Thank you. TVO Kids Crew, I've been recycling my whole life. This definitely puts things into perspective. Stick around, more recycling coming your way. And that's pretty cool. You know what? I've heard of people that collect the tabs off the top of cans, and it can actually make it or turn it into a wheelchair. So hey, you know what? There's all kinds of ways that we can recycle and make the world a better place. Here comes some Tuttenstein right here in the space. 